can we can we talk about some 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 big business though? Can we talk about some big business? You feel me? Can we can we get into some some a little bit of uh 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 Monet talk? Thank you, my guy. Thank you, my G. I really do appreciate that right there. You feel me? AEW and Tony Khan did announce that uh, on March the 13th, just five weeks from now, just five weeks from now. So we're going to, you know what I'm saying, stay tapped in, stay tuned in, stay dangerous. You feel me? Uh, act like you know something. You feel me? Uh, big business. AEW Dynamite will take place at the TD Garden Wednesday, March 13th. You feel me? Live and direct from Boston. You feel me? You know what I'm talking about? If they ain't leaned into it a little bit enough, you feel me, for you to understand what's going on, you feel me? I, I, I think you should understand, or at least I should just go ahead and make the overture, you feel me, and extend the olive branch and let you know that if you don't get it, you stupid. Mercedes Monet is on her way to AEW, you feel me? That's that's a done dealio, you feel me? Let's not, let's not even play the games with it no more, you feel me? Mercedes Monet is on her way to AEW. She'll be debuting on Dynamite Big Business, you feel me, in Boston. You feel oh, me? What, what, what are our thoughts? How do we feel about that? Chat, I need y'all to chime in as well, but I'm going to throw damn, it to my oh. guys first, and I'm going to check in with y'all. I thought Jason Tatum was going to be there. My bad. I didn't, I didn't even know. I thought, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm. I I think it's. A, I think it's a brilliant move. Just like uh, basing that whole show around her. Earlier on in the day, uh, Ticketmaster kind of spoiled Tony Khan's big announcement because they were like, "Hey, we got tickets for sale." I'm like, "Come on, man, you got to talk to them before you before you do these announcements because they was they was having you looking crazy." But uh, yeah, just having a whole event to bring her in or a special episode, if you will, not an event. I'm I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. And obviously, we already know she's going to go when she gets there. She'll probably go, you know, straight for the title because that's the thing that they do over there. But right now, that she's she's going to be the light that you need for that women's division. Like to really, really put it on there. Also, I don't want I don't want to see a Soraya and Mercedes Monet rematch and yep. be like, yo, you what happened to my neck? Nah, bro. Let's just skip. Let's just skip past that. It didn't happen. It's not canon. Let's move on didn't exist like we weren't there you weren't there you didn't have no nicks you weren't there like this is like first off i hope mercedes put this in her contract to be like listen i want my own shit i want my own show to announce that i'm coming even though everybody knows that i'm coming well this is the first time that a, a tony khan um big announcement has felt like you know like like a big announcement you know what i'm saying <laughs> so like I love all that out part. though. I mean all in all in all in was big. All in felt big. Yeah, and guess and guess who was there? Pause. Guess oh yeah, yeah. There. She she was there. She was there. You right I about mean, that. She was there. And, and shout out to Tony, you know, I'm shitting on him. Like shout out to him saying playing them seeds. Like that shit's all the plan. Like I don't know if it's all the plan, like even if it's an accident or if it was on purpose, but look, I like I love the look. Like it's making it like she's like she knows she's a big deal. Like I am the big deal. I'm the biggest. Like I, oh yeah, what's what somebody put over there? Like my man Andrew knows where said. Listen, Tiano. Look, we're gonna talk about that shit in a minute. But listen, yes, like there's all kinds of people that Mercedes hasn't stomped on, and people that she stomped on before that she could stomp on just at a new venue with a new name. And I can't fucking wait. So shout out to them. It's not, it's not like they weren't trying to give it away with the um the dollar signs and the have it in in Boston, even though she's from Fairfield. Shout out to us. And um <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, you know what I mean? So like there was like they were like they were trying to hide it, but not trying to hide it. But you know, like I, I, that's what I said about um Tony before that, like when he had um CM Punk come in, like, listen, I don't want no subtle shit. Listen, he's coming, here he is. And like, listen, don't be subtle with that shit. Listen, yeah, we got her, and they didn't. Ha ha. So listen, I want you to keep that energy. Just keep it off of Twitter. So yeah, I hope she like. I hope that shit's you know, that's just gonna break all kind of records. And congratulations, Ben. Uh, yeah, I do think it. I do think that uh, the ticket sales be pretty good for it because Spyro people are saying they they like to dunk and be like, yo, well the 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 the, in, the New Japan show that they, that they did it didn't do this type of numbers. I'm like, bro. Y'all are really trying to do anything you can to try to take this woman's value down, and it's it and it's clearly not working. It's clearly not working as, as we see right here. But uh, yeah, man, I'm glad I'm glad to see it. 
Hey, but and and the people that be talking that shit that you be talking about, Ben, it was like, oh, well, she didn't do these numbers. Like you're the ones that always claim that you guys watch all the fucking underground wrestling. You're real wrestling fans. But I, right, you know, what I'm saying, like you care about numbers now, huh? Uh, okay, okay, yeah, fake numbers, huh? Yeah, you're gonna be watching just like the rest of us gonna be watching because she's money or she's Monet, big business with dollar sign. Yes, sir. Woo energy, nigga. They should have put that nah. shit on that ass woo energy. Like, how the fuck are you gonna have woo energy over there? We have Mercedes Monet coming over there when they when Ticketmaster cl- clearly ruined it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you, you could put that on it, like this business. You know what I'm saying? TD Gardens. Ticketmaster kind of hating on that. Was, that was some shit. Because he said he said it in his um he said it in his like his little announcement. He's like, hey. I know Ticketmaster kind of posted it up earlier, but I still want to announce that shit. It was still my idea. It was my idea. Listen, it took take forever. It's still my idea. It's pretty funny. I rock with it, though. I'm, 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 I'm ready for it. You feel me? Mercedes Monet, you feel me? Really getting to it, getting back into the groove, getting back into the movement. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's with the, with the, with the, uh, the, the ankle injury that she suffered last year. Uh, at resurgence, I believe it was, you know what I'm saying, against uh, Willow Nightingale. Like, she, she got to get back into the game, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I'm, I'm ready for it, you feel me? And I, I feel like this is a different landscape for her. I feel like uh, Tony Khan has put a, a little bit more energy into the AEW women's division this year. So, like, if, if he could just continues to build with these pieces and continue on doing what he's been doing, I think they'll be okay, to be honest with you. I'm not even going to front. I think they'll be okay. And I think that you for me, uh, to be honest with you, I, I think there's some dope matches. Like Bizzle, you have said it before. You for me, there are some dope matches over there in AD for her to get to you know what I'm saying Athena, Jamie Hayter, the Carl Sheeta. You know what I'm saying? Like th- there's a bunch of matches that she could do. There's a Britt Baker match down the line. I mean, I know some of y'all hate on that, you feel me? But like it it's it, it, it can happen. You feel me? And it likely will. Oh, you feel nah. me? So like that, that, I don't that, want niggas to just discount that. that that bit that Britt Baker match, that's gonna do numbers. Like I know a lot of people are gonna be like, man, this is a, nobody would have seen it, seen it. Like, bro, it, it's it's gonna do numbers regardless. The promos leading up to it, everything like that, story, mm-hmm. it's gonna be good. But her Riho, her Jamie Hader, her fucking like like fucking Tony Storm, you know what I'm saying? The virtuoso, like Deanna Perrazzo would fucking like you kidding me, nigga? Like Deanna Perrazzo and fucking Mercedes Monday, like you, you, you are out of your mind, nigga. If you don't want to see that shit, nigga, like she's going to the exact right place. Like even if she doesn't do what you niggas think that she shouldn't do, it's still gonna be amazing. You just gotta watch it, nigga, because I'm gonna do it whether you like it or not, nigga. I watch it over and over, nigga. It's lit. Yeah, I, I agree with you, bro. I, I'm I'm with it, man. I, I think she's going to do good in AEW. I think she's going to help bolster and, and boost their women's division. I, I, I know people don't like hearing it or whatever, you feel me? Or at least like AEW diehards don't like hearing it. They got to bring Athena over. <laughs> they got to bring Athena over and, and, and get her involved with, with Mercedes at some point. You feel? I'm not saying immediately. I'm not saying immediately. But at some point, like, that's the match that they absolutely have to do. That's the match that they absolutely have to have, especially with, you know, saying uh, the, the way that uh, Athena has evolved in AEW. I think she deserves that. And I think it'll be something special. I think it'll be something dope. And I'm excited for it. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, 